We're getting started in the basketball court today, and we're visiting one of the most well-known programs in Washington, D.C. Gonzaga College High School has a basketball history full of great players and memorable moments. But the program has perhaps never been more proud than last April, when two of its former players, Chris Jenkins and Nate Britt, met in the NCAA championship game, and Jenkins hit the game winner to give Villanova the title. It was pretty special, uh, something I, I will cherish forever and will remember forever. I mean, to have two guys that played in your program, playing on the biggest stage and in the biggest game, and then one of them hits arguably now the biggest shot in the game's history um, is a special moment. And I was watching the game from the tip off, but uh, it was humbling, you know, to see two guys from Gonzaga be playing in the, um, in the championship like that. I mean, it shows you that you're, you're on the right path. Like Britton Jenkins before him, Chris Likes is now writing his own chapter in Gonzaga's storied history. And so far, it's been a pretty good one. He may actually pass Jenkins on the Eagles' all-time scoring list. He's running up on 2,000. He has the potential to be uh, my first 2,000-point scorer and has the chance to, to knock Chris Jenkins off as my all-time current leading scorer. Chris has been an impact player for Gonzaga since his freshman year when he had to assume a big role sooner than expected because the team was struggling with injuries. His ability to step up when the games mattered and to be on that big stage when we had veterans and seniors um, who were hurt and expected to be our leaders, he ended up becoming our leader immediately as a freshman because because of those injuries and the way he handled that pressure. I was eager to play. Uh, I wanted to show and prove that, you know, just because of my size wasn't really a factor, but I mean, at the same time, I was nervous. You know, I wasn't sure what to expect uh, when I got out there, but, you know, I just told myself playing hard is the best thing I could uh, possibly do. At five feet, eight inches tall, Chris is often the smallest player on the court, but he's also usually the most talented. And when I step on the court, I mean, guys look at me like there's no way possible he can be on the court, but. Um, I mean, I use that as motivation. I step out, you know, just try to prove. Every time I step on the court, that's, that's just me trying to prove that I do belong here. So, I mean, that's just always that, that edge of motivation that helps me, you know, overcome things, overcome challenges. So, I mean, I'm just glad to be who I am. I wouldn't have it any other way. We never had the effort conversation as a family in regards to basketball, right? I think he took that upon himself uh, to go out there and want to compete and show everyone that, hey, I can play also. I'm smaller, yes, but I can go out and play. Um, but he was willing to put in a lot of work by himself, too. We would go outside and work as a family, but he took a lot of time um, himself to go out there and just work on his game and, uh, and, and have to also endure, you know, dad's tough love in regards to getting better, um, you know, but he embraced it, so I give him credit for that. His ability to be able to play with that chip on his shoulder. I mean, as I tell people, people question the height, and I say, well, he's always been that small. It, it hasn't changed. He, he is who he is, and he understands who he is. And I think that motivates him because he hears those whispers of, oh, he's a little guy. But his ability to jump, his ability to pass, and he really has a tremendous ability to shoot the ball and be a, be a pest on defense. Those are the things that are going to be able to allow him to have an opportunity to play early. Um, in his college career. With my height, I use you know, my speed and athleticism you know, to get to places, um, use my quickness you know, to either find my shot or find shots for other guys. And um, I mean, with my height, I'm lower to the ground, so I'm able to you know, uh, guard other guys. You know, they they got to get low to the ground too, but you know, I'm already there, so the ball's always in my, in my area. Just my speed and my uh, quickness is uh, something that I use you know, just to help me uh, you know, get by those challenges with my height. Chris has proven himself over and over again. He won the Gatorade Player of the Year for Washington, D.C. last season, and he's on the watch list for the Naismith National Player of the Year Award for this season. Next year, he'll be at the University of Miami. Miami is a, it's a great school, you know, not only basketball, but academics as well. They have a great engineering program that I'm, that I'm interested in. Um, but in terms of basketball, Coach Larry is a great coach. Miami was the first uh, high major school to offer me. Uh, we've been in contact for almost two years now, and um, in basketball terms, they ran 900 ball screens last year, and um, that's something that I really pride myself in. I work hard with those, uh, reading the screens, looking to um, you know, see what, what um, the defenses are doing, and um, that's just something that I excel in. It starts all over for him again, right? He you know, has to prove himself. He's going to be an undersized guard. And, you know, he understands it. Uh, can't wait to see him play, uh, see him get better, um, uh, not just uh, on the basketball court, but also in, as engineering is what he wants to actually pursue as well. Very challenging to, to do both, um, but he's up for it. Despite his size, Chris likes is sure to have many big moments ahead of him in basketball. Having that chip is, is really what 
pushes him and motivates him to be the best he can be. You know, it's not just the stuff that he does here. He's a kid that when he's not here, he's going to go out into the other gym or get a workout in with his dad or work out with a couple other guys. So he's always making sure that he can be the best he can be by putting in that extra work and that extra effort. I'm very competitive. I mean, in terms of whatever it is, I'm always trying to always trying to win, but that's not necessarily the main thing. I just want to be the best that I can be at what I do. The big thing is, is, is his ability, is just being a leader. Um, the way that he cares about other guys. You know, I think, you know, people here and they talk about the numbers, but his ability to want to be a winner and, and want to be able to give back to others, I think is one of the things that makes him such a special kid.